Hey everybody, welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. Uh, we're going to go over some things when it comes to being a new player and, and what I'm going to call the art of pulling. Um, and what I mean by this is when should you pull for banners and gear, weapons, whatever it might be, and when shouldn't you? Right, so it's kind of like a uh, it, obviously there is a personal aspect with it And if you really like a piece of gear that you like you think it looks really cool by all means go for it You know your enjoyment of the game should be first and foremost the most important thing But if your goal is like mine and you enjoy it pretty much regardless or your enjoyment comes from clearing content um, Or you know having really good stuff that's gonna affect how you want to pull on this game and what kind of banners you want to go for so I, I actually uh, thought of this idea because I, I recently had somebody in one of my streams come in. They, they were a day one player and they said, hey, what banner should I pull on? Well, as a day one player, th there's an issue with this. It's very difficult for me to recommend the current two banners for any day one player. Why? Because those players don't have a, a good ground of, of like damage to stand on yet. Right. And as an early player, your main concern, first and foremost, early on should be two things. Dishing out a ton of damage with just a really strong weapon or, or good weapon and then just having a party heal. Right. So those should be your main two things. Unfortunately, the current banners that are happening while I'm making this video don't feature anything of the sort. You have Yuffie's banner here, which, you know, which is which is great. You know, her banner has um, he's got he's got her outfit. It has a nice weapon that has a uh, buff for herself and another character, but it doesn't, it's not, it's not a make or break deal that you're going to want for a lot of other things. Whereas if you look at, for instance, like Ultimatic, now if, if Ultimatic had something, um, you know, that was like, like a piece of gear for it, that was going to be really good for Glenn, then I might say, Hey, yeah. This is actually a pretty good banner because let's be real, man. Ultimatic's a great way. It's a great weapon. It's got solid base damage. It's got great. Uh, it's got great R abilities. The support uh, is is solid. It could be a little better if it has physical attack here, but you know, it's it's the only weapon in the game so far that has two sigil boosts, right? You or it's two sigils essentially that can take down circle and X. So super good weapon, but it there's no there's nothing to complement it, right? So again, it makes it hard for me to recommend this to somebody. And then I'm sure you guys have seen this already from a lot of people, including myself. Itself, this banner with Breath Rather Teen is, is pure garbage. So the issue is, what is somebody to do? You know, what is what should you be pulling on? And so, like I said, first and foremost, you should be going after gear. If you like this Red 13 gear, you think it looks cool, you, you want to use Red 13, and you feel like you don't have anything to make him use usable, by all means, get it. But don't forget that if you do get this and you're a free-to-play player, chances are you might be you're likely going to be passing up something far more useful coming up in the future. Um, same thing. If you're a brand new player and you go for this Yuffie outfit, that's the Moogle outfit. Yeah, it looks cool, cute, whatever. The weapons are nice, but it, these aren't things outside of maybe Ultimatic. If you get it, they're not things that are going to make or break the game because the gear isn't going to help you kill things faster realistically. Um, and that, you know, and then same thing over here, red 13's gear is not going to help you kill anything faster because the name of the game uh, up, up front is damage, right? Damage and making sure you survive. Those are the two main things support while all the, the nice thing is support is it is useful, but it's not always useful. Damage will always be useful. Healing will always be useful. Support is one of those things where it has a place and you use it in that place because support pretty much can't really can't be power crept like every other you know weapon in the game which eventually will be so that's where the value comes from but then it loses value in the fact you're not always going to want it because against a physical attacking enemy having magic defense up doesn't do you any good right so it's going to vary from fight to fight but that's that's the beauty of the game right there's so many options so many ways to play which is fantastic that's why i love this game so so what do you do um my base recommendation is is if you're trying to be efficient, you want to you want to beat as much content as you can. You should first and foremost grab equipment where you where you are uh, equipment primarily gear where you are lacking that type of element, right? Because elements basically allow you to do double damage. So to give you an example, um, for the Christmas banner, you had you had um, Tifa with the with the piece of gear, right? Her Christmas outfit. And you also had Lucia with the piece of gear for a Christmas outfit on the same exact banner. 
Lucia offered a magic weapon that did single target uh, ground damage, quake damage, and Tifa had physical a physical ice weapon. I opted to go for um, Lucia with the ground weapon her gear, and the reasoning being behind that was I already have Sephiroth with ice and, and ice arcanum, which gives him plus thirty five percent ice damage, and I have his ice weapon, which is already really strong. So me getting a physical ice weapon with ice gear really wasn't going to do a lot that I already can't do. Whereas for Lucia, there has been this so far and still isn't anybody in the game with any kind of single target ground move. And there's nobody with a, with a ground arcanum, uh, piece of gear. So I was like, yeah, gotta get her. Nobody else has what she has. She's the only one that can do it. The unfortunate part with her is right now, as of right now, she doesn't really have a good weapon to support that. Um, I will say that the current one that, that is just here on this banner is probably the closest thing that she has right now that can support it, um, with the, with the thunderbird however it's got a lightning potency so again it's really not good both these weapons don't deal great damage because if we're comparing say this weapon at a 540 potency at ob10 you know 10 overboost and you go and you look at a weapon you know like uh, let's look at look, let's look at obviously probably the most popular edge wings here from sephiroth that starts off at 440 only 100 percent less just once you get it to ob6 it's already doing more damage than Lucia's and you get OB10, it's 800%. It's not even close, right? So it, it that right in, there alone tells you, yeah, don't get this weapon. It's it's not good. It's not that useful. You know, it's, it's not going to do what I want it to do, especially on a character who lacks a lot of magic options. So focus on gear first. And, and, and I would say, you know, kind of in an order, look at gear and then 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 say, hey, does it do I have what this gear offers, right? Um, and, and focus on on damage or elements first, right? So either either physical attack on the gear and element on the gear, things like that. So I can even kind of show you the gear I've gotten in the game so far and, and my choice reasoning for getting the gear, you know, kind of a thing. So for instance, Zach, right? I think so far, Zach, I've only gotten this one piece of gear. Only reason I got it is because so far he hasn't had any other gear that I'm like, oh, you know, I got to have it for Zach. This one was free, so that's nice. That's his base one. Um, so Zach's gear was great. It gave him, gave him physical attack. He's primarily a physical attacker. Gave him some HP. Perfect gear. It, it went really well um, as well with the Black Whiskers. Black Whiskers offered something no other weapon offered at the time. A physical weapon that does the physical defense down and water resistance down while also having a um a materia support ability here for attack water boost um so again you kind of want to look at what you're missing or something you know i don't have there really there uh, there is like what two good physical water weapons but he has like a combination of all the stuff together and there's nobody that has anything or could do anything like him right now so that's why i opted for that for tifa for example um uh, this is actually probably my biggest regret in the game was i picked up lifeguard tifa um i think we all kind of simped for it at the beginning because it was like the first oh it's the sexy tifa outfit kind of a thing right and i got it but i also got it with the thinking of oh man she's got these cool this cool weapon and she's got the lifeguard wraps which uh with the healing waves and i'm like oh man this is really cool this weapon can heal uh, and only cost four here's the problem though <laughs> If, if her healing, unfortunately, just even with the four ATB, it's just not as good as Aerith's. It's not. So you're generally not going to be using her in that stance or that state. So I was like, when the Omron outfit came out, I loved the way it looked. I loved the ability it came with with the HP and the physical uh, boost, physical ability potency. And on top of the Omron weapon, which you can see I've gotten a ton of, luckily. Um, I was like, this is great. I'm going for it. I, so I pulled for it, right? The opposite end, Aerith. I have yet to see really a piece of gear from Aerith that I really want. You know, something that gives me more that I don't have. You know, like this rosary, rosy battle suit I got from the um, from a geared voucher. It gives me heal and magic defense. This this covers a lot of stuff I already need. You know, if I need HP, I can use the the, the chocobo suit that was that we got from the the free event um, from Halloween event. But um, yeah, so outside of the rosy battle suit, I haven't gotten a single Aerith gear. Granted. I do regret, like I said, I regret getting this this uh, this piece of gear here, the lifeguard, um, for Tifa, because otherwise I would have grabbed the wind gear um, that she had. The like she looks like a princess, like a princess gown. Um, I would have picked that one instead because that did have a wind arcanum in it, so that way she would do 35.5% wind damage. But again, you kind of have to think about things. When I when I went to pull for it, my my line of thinking was well. 
I'm using Aerith as a healer. I didn't really have Sun Umbrella much at the time. I ended up getting a like like four of these things in a row. So that's why it's so it's I, I got really lucky. Um and and she was my healer. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna use her to attack or anything. So I'm not gonna get that piece of gear. I do regret get, not getting that piece of gear because there are times uh, where it, it could actually ex be extremely useful, uh, especially on floor tower 70. Um, so what I did instead is when it came around to the, the uh, Halloween banner, I opted for a kind of a funky funky thing is that I did there. And I grabbed, let me see if I can find the team here. Um, or maybe I got rid of it. Uh, maybe I did. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so what I did is I kind of went for a funky thing. Um, I grabbed Sephiroth. I grabbed his um, the Dark Harbinger because it had the Wind Mastery. I'm like, well, that's that's some kind of wind. And I at the time I liked it way more better. I liked it way better than Sephiroth's uh, look at the time before they changed his face. Back when he looked like really weird and creepy, but it gave me Wind Mastery. I didn't have anything for Wind to Wind boost Wind, so I'm like, cool. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I did, however, not opt for Gale Strike. Why? Well, because Sephiroth was my magic attacker, not my physical attacker. So it didn't make sense to me to make him a physical attacker when he's primarily my, my magic user, right? However, what I did do is I went and I got... Um, I did, and I and for the, the weapon that I wanted to get for sure was the Bandage Sword. Bandage Sword was a great weapon. It only costs four for me to use it. Yes, I have to throw on cloud, so a little bit of a of, a, of an issue there in a sense uh, as a secondary weapon. But I, my th my line of thinking was, well, shoot, this is an AOE magic defense for four at OB zero. I think, still think now, and it's a two stack, right? So I I think even still right now, I don't think there's anybody else that's offering that in the game at an OB zero. I don't think that's a thing. So he, it's basically the magic defense version of Barrett's, uh, so I think it's Assault Striker is what it is. Um, so same kind of deal, right? Yeah, it's this, yeah, same, this one? Assault, assault Gun. So same, it's it's basically the magic defense version of this. So these are both two fantastic, fantastic weapons that offer something that nothing else does at its level, right? And, and if it wasn't for Bandage Sword, if I hadn't pulled that and gotten probably a couple others that I did, you know, since then, I don't think I, there's no shot I would have been able to beat uh, Sephiroth the crash fights. Um, I mean, even if you saw the data that went out about what was the most used, Banjo Sword was like number one, two for like main weapons and sub weapons and things like that. It was pretty much necessary to beat, um, you know, the Sephiroth crash fights. So that's kind of like, you know, the art of pulling um, in, in its essence, right? You know, be smart with what you're pulling. Pull for gear first and foremost. Don't go for the weapons. Um, weapons are kind of a secondary because you can always get them later. The only ones you can't are the limited weapons. So things do change with the limited, like the Final Fantasy IX weapons. Because you can always get gear and tickets. You know, I mean, I, like, I, like I'm saving up to a bunch of tickets here. I got 380, 80, uh, 84 you can see there. You know, I have a ton of them I'm saving. The reason why I'm saving them is I'm waiting for the gear from the banner that had the fire weapons that I had terrible luck on to go into those so I have a shot at getting some more because again I went for that banner and I got both banners actually because I need something for fire there's I didn't have any options for better fire damage but now I do right so again I pulled for gear I pulled for gear first went for weapons second so hopefully that helps you guys and make some good decisions on your polls um, and you guys enjoy the video if you did make hit that like button and I'll see you later peace Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.